morning. Never let it be good said morning. that Hotel Donnelly is not a full-service operation. Coffee's pretty good, too. Good. Can I help you with this? Yeah, sure. Pa, she's having breakfast without me. I should go for the house to welcome Robert and Robin home? Yeah, but I don't think it's going to be a very happy reunion. What do you mean by that? Well, Robert's going to have to tell her something, then. Well, I know she won't like it. Hi, Hello. sweetheart. Oh, welcome back. Hey, guy. Good morning, Robert. Uh, how's about some coffee? I've just put on a fresh pot. Uh, oh, none for me, thank you. Hope yeah, you I'd love a cup. In the kitchen, it's on a tray. You can't oh, miss it. Go. Well, she can't still be asleep. Uh, no, no. I um, want to go see her. I, I promise. Anna, she's not here, though. Um, I've sent her out with Eric to have some breakfast. I wanted us to have a private moment together. What do you want to talk about? Something which isn't going to make you too happy. Something you need to know before Duke's sentencing today. Something he didn't want to tell you. I don't understand. Duke said that Angus had guaranteed our safety if Duke kept his promise about Lorlian. I know. I mean, it wasn't just going to be for his duration in prison, it was going to be for the rest of our lives. That was more or less the deal made. There's more? Actually, there's less. Go on. The truth of the matter is that Duke never really bargained for himself. What are you saying? He has no personal guarantees. Angus couldn't and wouldn't guarantee his personal protection. But Duke's sacrificing himself? You've just got to hope that he can... Uh... Oh, don't! Oh, what? Don't be so ridiculous. The odds are impossible. We'll see. I shouldn't have let him take over that press conference. I should have turned state's evidence myself. We could have avoided this in time. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You turn state's evidence. You out there blabbing about the mob? That makes the both of you walking targets. I don't care about myself. It's Duke I'm worried about. He's, he's sacrificing himself for Robin and me, and, and how am I going to live with that? Can't answer that question. Well, you answer me, you answer me this. Duke has agreed to the death sentence, more or less. And you knew about it, and you don't find that very difficult to go along with, and I want to know why. I don't think you're being very fair. He bargained for as much personal protection as he could. Do you suppose he wants you or Robin on his conscience? Do you suppose, he, do you suppose I do, for that matter? But Orlean remains a very big club suspended over Angus's head. I don't head. care about Lorleen. You let me finish? It's a very big club over Angus's head. Duke told him personally that if anything was to happen to him, the secret is passed on to me. Oh, it's going to be too late by then. Duke will be dead. Uncle Duke, you dead? Me? Robin. Robin, darling, no, oh, it's too tough. No, 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 it's all right. It's okay. all right. He's okay. Duke's fine. It's all right. Duke's fine. Yeah. Uh, listen, I miss some you, that coffee. Sweetheart. Are you right? Dry Lewis is in the kitchen. Tell me all about your skiing trip. How was it? Yes, yes. Our daughter was a fantastic beginner. As a matter of fact, I fell down three times as many times as she did. But then again, little Robin here is a little close to the ground, aren't you, darling? Yes, she hmm? is. All right, darling? You know, uh, I think that maybe Duke and uh, Robin should see one another. What do you say? Hmm? Oh, I like that. Yeah, I kind of thought you would. Uh, I'd like to see Duke beforehand, please. Of course. Can I see Uncle Duke? As soon as your mother's finished. We'll go over to Sean's then. Hmm? Okay. While visiting Uncle Duke, then we can... I can say hi to Sean, too. You can say hi to Sean, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm delighted. Why don't you go and show Eric some of your Christmas presents? And maybe, just maybe, you can con him into playing one of those dumb board games. <laughs> okay. Okay? Come on, Eric. All right. And listen, don't forget to unpack all those souvenirs you bought your mother and Duke. Okay. Okay, off you go. Bye. Uh, listen, would you mind if I made some phone calls out in your kitchen? Please go ahead. Anna. Okay, looks like I'm in for the silent treatment. Look, I'm doing everything I can to ensure Duke's oh, safety. Oh, yeah, sure. Extra police guards, great. Well, I think I can do a little bit better than that. I have a meeting scheduled along with Jake and the judge before sentencing. Jake's going to plea bargain and I will fill him in as much as I can without playing the Orlean factor. 
and try to ensure Duke's safety. You have absolutely no guarantee that the judge is going to cooperate. None at all. I'm basing my optimism on the judge's past performance, and you should too. He went along with me once before, and I think he'll do it again. 